What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please still subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me to grow. And also, to all my returning subscribers, thank y'all so much, man, so much for coming back, watching all my videos from beginning to end. I love you guys, I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby, y'all I got. And uh, guys, tonight's video, man, is about Texas A&M and the Arkansas Razorbacks, man. Oh my gosh, this game, this is going to be a really, really good game, man. Um, I just got a whole bunch of Hall fans that came to my channel and whatnot to support me, man. So um, I really appreciate y'all. Plus, I got some Aggie fans out there. Um, definitely, um, one that I know is Terry Williams. So, you know, guys, this video is for y'all, man. This video is for y'all. And as you can see, I'm not in my usual habitat. I'm actually in my girl's house, man, Samara, and she's over there snoring. I'm hoping that y'all don't hear her because she is snoring really loud. But anyway, guys, I had to do this video, man, because for one, this is going to be an epic matchup in the SEC. Plus, both y'all had bye weeks. And most importantly, man, I got a lot of fans that really want to see this video. So for that, be with that being said, man, this is, I had to do this video. But anyway, guys, um... I was trying to find some stuff I can, like, really, you know, like, um, talk about and whatnot. And uh, I was looking over the um, internet, and I seen some things that uh, Sam Pittman had said and whatnot. But I didn't really see nothing that Jibbo Fisher said about Arkansas. So what I'm going to do is I found what Sam Pittman says. So I'm going to read what he said first, and then I read everything that he said. Then I'm gonna, I've seen some things that I've seen that was interesting to me about Texas A&M. So I'll read that next. But first off, let's get started with the Hogs, man. All right, Barry Odom and the Arkansas defense will have their work cut out for them once again when they face Texas A&M. The Aggies have a solid group of veterans up front and a pair of dynamic, ta dynamic talents and sophomore running back Isaiah Spiller and senior QB Kelly Munn. And uh, with a powerful rushing attack and the most mobile QB the Hogs have faced to this point, the Aggies present a different type of challenge. Hmm. Okay. I, I, yeah. Yeah, they do. Spiller, the guy's incredible. I mean, he's played really, really well, Pittman said. They got five returning starters on the O-line. They got a good football team, a really good football team. And, of course, Munn, who's been there since 1922. Come on, man. You got to do him like that. He has been there a long time, though. It's the, um, it's the guy... It's the guy, what the hell, I can't write. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it's the guy ever going to graduate and get out of there. He's been there for forever, and what a really good player he is. The bottom line, good offensive, good defensive coordinators, good special teams, and good head coach. What they do is they adjust to give themselves the best chance to win, Pittman said. Because, make no mistake, we're not going out there for respect. We're not going out there for anybody to say we play hard. We're going out there to win. So our game plan has to give our kids the best chance to do that. If you really look at Barry Odom and the defense and what they've done in the four, on in the four different games, it has been somewhat similar to it has been somewhat similar in some ways. Um Ole Miss and Mississippi State, certainly much different. Yes, I wrote a lot of those guys. So, certainly much different, Auburn and Georgia. We'll come up with the best game plan possible for us to have. A chance to win the football game. We had to figure out um, whatever that front is that starts, whether we're going to play a three or four man front to start. And with all that auxiliaries around it, we had to figure out what um, tendencies they have at AM and split that situation. So, guys, everything that he said, man, I agree with, man. Um, I really do. I agree with everything. I mean, how could you not? You know, the man saying, hey, look, we're not coming in. We're not coming to play for no freaking, hey, man, it's a good game. You know, y'all played well. Y'all been doing good this year. No, you know, we coming to kick ass. Well, they come, y'all, the hogs are coming to kick ass, man. You know, we coming to kick ass, period. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what he's saying. We're coming to kick ass, and we're not taking no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you beat us, okay, oh, well, you beat us. But it's not like we just coming for a participation trophy, man. Plus, he's recognizing the QB, Kellen Mon, the running back, Isaiah Spiller, the run game, you know, the offense. He's recognizing all of this. So, with that being said, man, Sam Pippen know, knows what he's going up against. 
And seems like to me he's trying to gather the troops. You know, he's trying to gather the troops and whatnot. So everybody can be prepared. Because right now I also read that they're not doing uh, full pads. They're only doing like shoulder pads and shorts. So they just pretty much just been going through the motions, man. Trying to heal up because they've they been getting a lot of injuries. You know, the Hawks been getting a lot of injuries, man. So with that being said, um, right now, man, they just going through the motions. But they are gathering the game plan. And it seems like every game, man, that they have played, they have had a great game plan, a great one. And they should be 3-1. and one. Like I said, the Hawks should be 3-1, and one, man. If it wasn't for those freaking referees, man, I think they work for Auburn. I really do. I think all of them work for Auburn. But anyway, man, um, this is what Sam Pittman had to say about the upcoming game. Now, like I said, I did not see nothing that Jimbo Fisher said. The only thing I seen from him, man, was um, he was talking about his um last game where they beat Mississippi State. So the reason why I'm reading this, man, because this some these are some interesting stats, man. Like you know the way they did Mississippi State. I know Mississippi State is not that good this year, but the way that they played and the way that they beat them and just everything that they did in this game, it's really good, man. You know, and you gotta realize it. It said SEC. So, were they good or not, they are still SEC talent. So, with that being said, get started with them, man. All right, Texas a and veteran offensive line has gone three straight games, three straight games, including um, 100, dang, 120 pass attempts since last giving up a sack. The only sack allowed by the unit this year came in the second quarter of the Vanderbilt game. Damn, so we didn't sack him either? I thought sure we sacked that guy. Um, Anyway, the A&M defense, Tied a season high six sacks in the game. Ooh, six sacks. The most since the 2018 season against both Kentucky and LSU. Over the last two games, AM has gone nine out of nine of ten in the red zone, scoring seven TDs and a pair of field goals. Okay, okay. Mississippi State's two. Two rushing yards on the day. Man, that is pathetic, man. Get their ass out of here. Two um, rushing yards in the day was the fewest allowed by the Aggies defense in the SEC game since Auburn finished with 19 yards on the ground in 2018. Good gosh. The last time an AM opponent finished the game with negative rushing yards was in 20, oh, 2004 when Wyoming, when Wyoming finished with three yards. Three. Oh, my gosh. The AM defense did not allow Mississippi State to run the play in the red zone. The victory over Mississippi State was AM's first in Starkville since the 2012 season. Today's captain, captains at Mississippi State were offensive, defensive lineman Michael Clemens, offensive lineman Carson Green, and old line um, offensive lineman Ryan McCullough. So, man, okay, guys, these are some impressive stats that, I mean, I don't care who you play. Like, these, that's, that's impressive, man. That's impressive, guys. I ain't gonna, I, I'm not going to lie. Now, as far as them doing it against the Hawks, that is that remains to be seen. That remains to be seen, man, because the Hogs, man, they for man, they've been playing good. Y'all been playing good, man. They've been playing really, really good this year. They defense, man, seems like it came from hell itself. Like they stopping, they stopping you, man. They and they wrapping you up. They're not just touching you. When they grab you, they they grabbing you, man. And they they, and they take you to the ground. So this is not Mississippi State that on A and M for the face, man. They they for the face. Um, the Hogs, man, which they are way above their time already. So with that being said, this is this ain't gonna be easy, man. I don't see them stats. <laughs> I don't see those stats in this game right here, man. No, no way in hell. Nah, -uh. nah. Cause this this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be an all out dog fight every year. A and M and um the Hogs play is always tough, man. Always hard nosed. Always exciting. You know it goes back and forth, back and forth. So you really don't know who's gonna win until the very end, you know? So this is um I really can't wait to see this game, man. And um the Hogs, like I said, they defense is good. So with that run game for AM, are they gonna be able to run on the Hogs any, man? You know, that's what I'm thinking about. Are they gonna be able to run on the Hogs? Or is QB Kelly Mon gonna be able to throw on the Hogs defense? Or my boy um I I already got the notes. Where my boy at? What's his name? Um the interception guy. Let's see, walk on red. Hudson Clark. Is he gonna be intercepting these boys left and right like he did with um Ole Miss? Guys, that remains to be seen. It remains to be seen, man. We don't know 
what's going to happen really in this game. All we know is we got two really, really good teams, man. You know, yeah, I want to say it. Two really, really good teams playing each other, you know. And they both with bye weeks, so they both got time to heal. So, man, this is going to be epic, man. You know, this is going to be a really good game to watch. And plus, I got all my fans from both sides. I can't wait to see these comments in this game. When I post this video right here, I cannot wait to see these comments because I know the halls, they coming, man. No matter what I post, I can post going to the damn store. The halls coming. So, when I post this video, and Terry Williams too. So, when I post this video right here, man, I can't wait to see what y'all say about this. Because, um, like I said, man, this this game, you know, I want to say it's going to be decided in the trend. It, it is. All SEC, well, pretty much, I ain't going to say pretty much. Let's see. Well, what should I, I know about the SEC? I won't say that. In the SEC, the games are decided in the trenches, man. You know, if you can run uh, on the team and you can throw, nine times out of ten, you're going to win. Now, if you handicap and you're going to do one or the other, then it's going to be hard for you, man. It, it really is because you need both. You need a running game and you need a passing game. If you got both of those working for you, Nine times out of ten, you go, you gonna you gonna win. But if the other side now, <laughs> if they got both of that working for them too, then that calls for it. That's 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 shoot. That's a shootout. No ifs ands or buts about it, man. That's that is a definite shootout. But I don't see no shootout with this. Not with the Hawks defense, man. And I know the Hawks to me, they ain't no fluke. You know, this ain't no joke, man. They they been doing their thing on all, every game they face. And like I said, they should be three and one. So I really don't see Texas A and M pushing them around like this, like they did Mississippi State. Mississippi State, they just—I don't even want. I'm not for to talk about Mississippi State because I don't know if I got some fans out there or not. Cause I feel talk really bad about y'all just did, but I'm not because y'all still in the SEC. Y'all got time, you know. You just get your players. Get and Mike Leach. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. My bad. Texas A and M, man, in Arkansas, man. This this is gonna be a game right here, guys. I ain't gonna lie, and um. Like I said, man, this defense from the Hogs and the offense from Texas A&M, hell, the offense, defense from Texas A&M as well, they got a pretty good defense too. And, you know, and I noticed when we played Texas A&M, we could not really run on them for real, man. We really couldn't. And we had our best against them. Najee Harris, and hell, he couldn't get nothing. In the red zone, yeah. But as far as running on him, running on them, period, man, they was hard as crap to run on. So, they defense ain't um ain't bad either now. Texas A and M defense is pretty good too. So, with that being said, now nah, man, I just don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna tell you who I think gonna win this game because I don't even know who gonna win. I don't. I have no clue who gonna win this game, man. At first, I was leaning toward Texas A and M, and then all of a sudden, I just started thinking and I started looking at these stats and looking at how the Hall's been playing and the game plan they've been had. I mean, they've been having every game. Like I'm saying, I'm thinking to myself, man, they they and they adjust, they adjust so well to stuff too, because it, it's I don't know, man, I just can't really, I just can't really pick a winner, because I don't know, I really don't. This is gonna be a hard game, man. It's gonna be a hard game, like I, it is. I, it's nothing else we can we I can really say about this game because I can it's just like just like with Missouri and uh, Kentucky, I can really pick that game out. I said go in Missouri, though. I think I did. If I ain't mistaken, I did. I think I said go in Missouri because I didn't see Kentucky beating them by six points. I don't know what the point spread going to be for the Aggies beating the Hogs, man, because I know they're going to probably have them up because they ranked. I think it's number seven. I'm not mistaken. But, guys, I don't – um, it's going to be closer than what they say probably. If they got, like, ten points or seven points, something like that, man. I don't think it's going to be that much, man. I really don't. I don't. If they win, it's not going to be that much. And the Hawks very well could pull this out. You know, they could end up beating them by this. So, man, I don't know. This game could go, because it's on my shirt. This game could go either way. Either way, guys. So, with that being said, man, let's just sit back, relax. Let's watch this game. Well, I guess the Hall fans and the, and the Aggies, they're not going to be react, be able to relax. But, um, but yeah, man, this game is going to be really good, man. I really can't wait to see this game. And I really like the fact that I did a video on this because, man, I know y'all appreciate this stuff, man. So I got, I, hey, and I don't, have, I have no problems doing this. And yeah, let's, let's just sit back and watch this game, y'all, because this, this is gonna be a really good game, really is, man. But anyway, guys, look, this concludes my video, man. Appreciate y'all coming back. You know, watch from again to end and whatnot. 
And um, and yeah, man, let's just let's just watch this game right here, guys. And also leave your opinions in the comments. Say, let me know who you think gonna win and whatnot. Let me and let me know why you think. Don't just say because I'm a Hall fan, we gonna win. Because I'm an Aggies fan, we gonna win. Let me know why because. I really can't see. I really don't know who's going to win this game. I can't really point to a clear uh, winner because it's just y'all kind of, you know, kind of even a little bit. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? Both y'all good on defense. Offense is pretty good, you know. Well, I say the Texas offense is a little bit better just because they got more experience and whatnot, more veterans and everything. But the defense, man, you can't go wrong with that. So I don't know, guys. But anyway, leave your opinions and thoughts. Everything in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And guys, look, man, just much love. Much love, man. Much love, guys. And uh, stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.